Hey, bro, y'all see the title? Y'all know what this is. I'm done talking straight to the video. This shit long as hell. Swear to God. Swear to God, huh? Oh, oh, oh. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Tommy G. Boots on the ground in the most dangerous city in America, St. Louis, Missouri. Real D, you in here with that fucking main That's the clear to see. Fresh shit for this shit said on live outside. I changed the meaning. My 34 came with Jim Fox lying in it up, Christine. Real deal, just main chop. You can buy this motherfucker right now, four stacks. This is where it goes you down, down one this side of town. Boy. Each year, I make a trip to the most dangerous city in America. Shit, you guys fucking got your after-school projects here, huh? On a quest to speak with local residents and try and understand what it's like growing up in such a wild place. I once again find myself in St. Louis, Missouri, which one news source says is the city with the highest homicide rate in the world outside of Mexico. Today, prosecutors charged a man with murder. Got little Louis niggas out here with ARPs and all type of shit. Well, you will see a 13-year-old with a fucking AR, boy. A drink. No handguns, boy. No hand. If he got any, if he got any gun that's not a handgun, his ass a crash out. And if he do got a handgun, a little pistol, and he got a switch on it, he's a crash out, boy. Watch them niggas. Them niggas is not playing. Cause them niggas is not playing, boy. You gotta survive out here, boy. Police are trying to identify and find five teams. They are Ain't for no fighting. Last weekend's mass shooting downtown. These the niggas is not over 18. Got downtown St. Louis. From 3 o'clock Saturday afternoon until 3 o'clock Sunday morning, there were 600. Let me. Motherfucker sound great. And 39 calls for service. Take a look at the video of armed young people leaving a downtown loft yesterday morning. Another man openly carrying. Yeah, niggas burnt up the B&Bs and shit, man. This is an open carry state for sure, for sure. Back show. around to the vehicle, which was on the run and on the move once again. Oh, isn't that wonderful? My son and I fall asleep to the lullaby of gunshots in the distance every night. Wow. In traveling to cities like Chicago, New York, L.A., yeah, we are open Philly, carry state, I can say bro. without a doubt so that I've seen the craziest amounts of guns I've ever seen so far stopped. in the trenches of St. Louis. I even saw kids that looked like they were 10 or 11 toting automatic weapons. Them niggas Today, ass, we tap in with St. Lie. Louis locals making a name for themselves. First, we head to Mo P's Hood. He's a rapper putting up impressive numbers on YouTube. He sounds like this. Wiping the cocaine on my mirrors. The remains of what got booked is coming in so quickly. Biz men calling my phone. How you know the digits? They trying to come with it. Piece of 16 and they in the trip. No, I ain't. I don't even be on the West. Oh. Nah. And then. I ain't know he was from the West Side, though. Head to entrepreneur Heavy G's he block. He's known in the industry. city for selling exotic snacks you and know, the world's most north. expensive lemonade. How much do these cost? Twenty-five dollars. This cost twenty-five dollars. Yes. Join me as I hit the streets and look for answers on how to make St. Louis a more peaceful place. I don't really look into the. I don't look into no nigga for real from the same I just be trying to crack some, boy. We're here in the outskirts of St. Louis. Before we get into the trenches in the most dangerous city in America, let's talk to the folks that live here and see what they think about it. So St. Louis has been ranked the most dangerous city in America for the second year in a row. Does that surprise you? No. 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 It doesn't because I know the stat. I don't like it, nor do I agree with it. We lost our mob a long time ago, which controlled the gangs. Our gangs have taken over. Are you a mother? I am. And you feel concerned raising your kids in St. Louis? Where I raised my kids in the county. Area like this. What is it like raising kids Ooh, in St. Louis? It's kind of scary. If you were mayor, what would you do? Or if you had a message to the mayor, what would you say? Start locking people up left and right. I try to find more opportunity for these kids to just to train their mind, just to keep them on track with things. I am all about support for the for the youth. And I think that that's where we need to start having more activities for the youth. When I it's was the music, up, bro. We all know this, bro. In the last two years, the the population of St. Louis has left. Why it's you think the that music, bro. You got this is, this is, this is. The this is leads to the shooting, and the shit not going to stop. How do you reach those over. You got to give them a better upbringing. Ain't no stopping this shit, bro. 
That's kids looking at them like that. I ain't hearing this shit though. Hell yeah. yeah. no. Once we focus on the youth, then we will be able to make the, a difference in the, the future as a whole. Stay focused, stay positive, and try to keep keep the idle mind going. I don't know what they go through. I don't know why they're doing what they're doing. And I am not a smart enough person to be able to help. Stay away from us. <laughs> You're getting a little crazy. You gotta protect yourself out there. So the sponsor of today's video is Bulletproof Zone. They're helping us keep protected. If you're somebody- Look at no motherfucking sponsor, nigga. Fuck wrong with this nigga, bruh. They Man, say. Cold dead hell of nigga playing, get off with some shit. 30 guns a night, exotic shit. I wake up picking blicks. Six whips in the back, five niggas geet up. You gotta go to motherfucking Chesterfield if you don't want to be in the trenches or some like shit this, like that. You look at places like this, and is it really that surprising that things are crazy here? Nigga, you have to think about the mentality of starting out in this spot. I'm not excusing this behavior. I'm not saying killing each other is okay. Look over here. Imagine growing up in absolute destruction. How That's did things how I look get everywhere to this? What happened? Down here, boy. That's how that it looks. Coming on Trenchville. Tell the people what to expect from this area, what, what goes down. A lot Nigga goes down. Nico, a lot man. of these guys, man, they, they younger, so Boy. they're a little bit more eager to do the crimes, kind of, I don't want to say it like that, but. They're more reckless. More young. reckless, that's a better way to work. Have you ever been in a video shoot and a shootout happened? And I've been there where they just been shooting. Maybe they was trying to scare the artists off the block or something, they just start letting off shots. So I've been, I've literally had footage running with the camera, hearing the gun shots. Been crazy, man. Oh, that ain't thumps. This is the type of area that every single car that passes, uh, you gotta watch out for. My main man. Okay. okay. Good to meet you, man. What's the word? Tell. This is a real spitter. You want a bar spitter that goes bar for bar every single song he makes. This is the guy. Tell the people where we are right now. Right now, we really in the middle of the horseshoe, aka the dipshit for real. 5,500 for real, for real. We got some motherfuckers coming down, goddamn me. It feels shit. slightly sketchy. Like, it feels like things could pop off any moment. Five, five. That's St. Louis for you. I ain't gonna fake a real deal. Everybody trying to be okay. a tap. What do you love about St. Louis? I love everything about St. Louis. I ain't gonna fake it. Like, I don't wanna leave my city. I love everything about my city from the food to the cars we drive to the phases we go through, all type of shit. You got the shoes with the tags still on them. Is that a Toothbrush, cool. clean them off. I see the pads. Right, 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 right. So what's the mission? What's the plan right now? Like, what are you trying to do in this city? Get signed for real. Bring my city up out of here for real. Be another Nelly. Like, I'm trying to be better than Drake. And when you blow up, what are your plans? <laughs> I just see you got ten million dollars in the bank right now. What's your plan? Four, five million going dead on my rap, and the other million I'm going to get a game some shit so they can have money cycling in. There. One really important thing is in America. Nigga said, "Fuck his mama. Fuck the fam." Fuck his daddy if he got one. His brother, sister. Nigga, I'm giving the million to the guys, nigga. Boy, he a, boy, he a honey. Boy, I wouldn't even let my homeboy do that, man. Take care of your mama first, boy. Don't worry about me, cuz. Take care of moms first, bruh that we have a right to is the right to bear arms. How important is that? But no, young bro, though, I feel like in a very young like, age, oh, bro, parents should that. be teaching their kids to how to use guns. Like, you should be able to, at any age, to teach your kid how to use a gun. Like, that's what they should be teaching in school. Mm -hmm. Not dumb ass shit that we not gonna see when we get up out of here, you know? What percent of people around here you think have a gun? Realistically, 90% everybody got a gun. I ain't gonna fake a real yeah. deal. Tell me about how you grew everybody up. Everybody do got a gun. Life, how'd really. you get to where you are now? Regular childhood in some from St. Louis. Shit. I grew up my granny for real on some little cool shit. She ended up passing away to cancer and shit. After that shit, the nigga was by herself. That was at like 12 years old, for real. So she had no parents myself. and no like grandma two, from the time three years ago. Yeah, right. for real. If we elected you mayor of St. Louis, what would you do to make the city better, stronger, safer? It really starting the heart of the community, for real. You make a little change in one community, motherfucker need to actually be hands-on with shit. Like, get their hands dirty with niggas who been getting their hands dirty, for real. To me, a lot of the reason a lot of young men are reckless right now is almost just like a, for thrill-seeking. Kids are bored, and they're shit, trying to do things for the thrill of it. Yeah, like, motherfucker really want that rush. You got to think, like, motherfucker sit at the crib all day on Instagram. That's real as fuck, motherfucker. Like, I want to do what they doing. That's hella real. Gentlemen, I'm gonna need some help breaking down some St. Louis slang. I just heard Tapper. Help me use it in tap. a sentence properly. Be like, what's the word, tap? 
You know where we're tap? Oh, me, Fred Deer. I'm God. We're about to tap some shit today? I'm oh, God. Wait, Five. what you, Tommy Tap? Which one? G Five. Tap? Tommy Tap? Which one? G Tap. Oh, my mama. <laughs> nigga, we got G Tap in this motherfucker, nigga. Oh, God. Red. Real deal. My soul. What's, What's the, the word? word? I hear people say, God damn me. God damn God me. Oh, God. God, God damn me. Oh, God. Swear to God. God damn me. Swear to God. Is that bad? Bo P started getting agitated, grabbed his strap, and ran towards the street. So I figured bad things were about to happen. But nope, just another day in St. Louis. <laughs> Good to meet you. Good to meet you. Them them little monsters. Oh, God. Tell your ass up. Are you guys in middle school or high school? I'm in high school. Okay. So we talked to people, citizens of St. Louis before we came here. And a lot of them said they're getting scared to live in the city. The violence is becoming too much. What do you think about those, what those people are saying? Cap. That's a cap, yeah. bro. Cause don't nothing happen to nobody that just stand out the way. So basically you gotta have your hands dirty That's to facts, have this happen. Nah, cause you could be a bystander and get hit. If you I wanted to buy a gun, how That's easy would it be to buy one and how much do I gotta pay? It's Ooh, easy. You buy this right, right, right now, full state. It's all good. <laughs> What's the average the age of kids touch their first gun around here? Bro, I was hella young playing with guns on God, bro. This generation, bro, like, me and my partners graduated. I ain't gonna fake it like all the other shit, that shit killed. Was graduating important to you? Damn right. I ain't gonna fake it when my grandma passed away. Like I told you, like, that was a big thing on, on my list. Like, I had to graduate. That We finna go oh, to the little place where I shot out right there. Come on, tell. He watching all the perimeters. It's on gangland. First game. First game here? Yeah. So the Bloods came here, set up shop. When was that? Like 1960s? Late 80s, beginning of the 90s. From an outside perspective, it makes me sad to see. You messing with me? No, I, oh God. Certified uh, Trapper did that to me during our interview where he faked go like this just to try and get my reaction. Um, you see some shit or what? No, that's my little brother is bad. Oh, okay, you looked uh, like you were know, you looked like you were about to go Navy SEAL mode on us. <laughs> when I it's see all the, the numbers of death, it makes me really sad to see because there's what I see is a lot of young men that have potential that never got to live that potential out. Mo, you got any bars for us? All right, now all right, now all right. Look at my glizz, look at bro glizz, and they both came from smacking. We hit the south in different wheels because we just swapped the traffic. Put dude ass on VOTP, comes under and say what happened to him. Ain't heard from when last we seen got hit this shit no more. Look, they cover up they ears. Mass speeds on the flyway, make them think it's task, they watch they murders. Max suppress, don't hurry. Bro got button C crowd trying to clear him. One deep Drake with 60, think I'm fearless. That tough guy acting sickness, luckily Drizzy a cram. Chasing shit, booking fat ass guns with built up my endurance. Burn them car, know we got some stupid. They say fast and free. GT stinker, no. Key USB won't see it for you. Hurry, Taz, pick bro, me up. I know this nigga hot as fuck, bro. J J5. I'm showing sure different times. Take shit off, Jeb. I forgot which one this nigga is. Take this shit off. What you was doing? This age range, this group, this age, this is not my age range. This is 18 and under, bro. This is exactly how them niggas dress. My little cousins dress just like this. Bag be empty in the motherfucker. Boy, I be like, dude, what is you doing? Nigga, you look dumb as fuck. You know what I'm saying? During, I don't know nothing. What I season is this, cuz? <laughs> Boy! I can't even spell my name if y'all was Chris. Little bro snatched the cat pack off the lot, wrapped on the way back, stirring. Oh, God. My mama. Jeez. Real. Okay, so one thing you said in that song, who is Task? That's what we call unmarked Real police cars. Like the yeah. They be in every yeah, unmarked yeah. cars, like yeah. the same type of car you rode in, just yeah. 10. I got some questions to ask you. Yes, yes, yes. First impression. The fucking real deal. Tell. Real deal. My soul. A lot of people say drill music is to blame for all the violence in the cities. What do you think about that? Bro, drill music is just for a motherfucker feeling when they going through the jungle, bro. Real deal, bro. You can't blame a motherfucker. Do you feel like you have a, a positive impact on the world? Yeah. Motherfucker got a The tappers are motherfuckers who don't get no fuck and they really trying to be that Niggas really be having that on People can talk, listen to know? music and it's up to you what you want to do with it. I can listen to your song Watch I can go lift weights. I can listen to your song I can run my road trip. I, I can listen to your song and beat the Look shit Look at him. Look at Killer Right. I be peeping. I be knowing what it was though. I mean, I am from here, so I, of course I know what the fuck it was, but still. Why, if it's hot as fuck outside and you see a nigga... Fully loaded with clothes on, bro. Don't, bro. 
don't even cause problems with cuz unless you just don't give a fuck about life. Cause he got a big motherfucker on me. Uh, somebody. We all have the choice of what on we me. do once we listen to the song. That's on me. Did you ever get scared of any of you guys shooting your dick off when you pass when you put the gun like right here? There's some uh cheer the bar bad shit. <laughs> okay, alright. That fing tap, main tap, we out of here, my mom. Like, I can't even imagine what it would be like growing up in that type of situation. You reap what you sow, like you attract what you put out into this world. I know former drug dealers that are now millionaires in real estate. I know former bank robbers that are millionaires in business. You could be the street guy pushing up a lot of cash in the street, your choice. There are consequences that come with that. There's dangers that come with that. You could be the legit business guy too. If you move those street skills into entrepreneurship, I think you're gonna have a safer, more sustainable lifestyle. Next folks, have you seen less blood was already seen. Who's quite a character. We'll see you there. Here we go, see Heavy G in the jet. We're here with the St. Louis legend, Heavy G. A big thing we're highlighting is entrepreneurship. What do you got cooking up over here? My food truck right here. Selling uh, Rotel, that's, that's some little St. Louis, like some nachos type shit. And we selling my world famous drink, Whippy. This is how the Whippy look. I just, I've been yeah, doing this shit for one year after last month. So this is my one year anniversary. It looked like drink, but, but it ain't what you think. think. This my little thing, I want to try. 25? Far, I know. That's good. Thank How'd you invent this? You know I'm a big influence in my city. I had brought some sodas back from Texas, like you did, going to get some drinky shit. And I started selling the sodas for twenty dollars. And the sodas ended up getting so popular over the city, everybody started buying them some Fagos. And the stock actually went up ten percent within the thirty days of me promoting it. So I'm like, damn, I ain't made no money off this, you know. So own it, own so, your own shit. Yeah, and I knew I could do it because you know the Fago sodas was two dollars. So I'm like, I got to make all that money back that I missed. So I'm making mine twenty five, the most expensive lemonade to ever drop on earth. Look, this the Rotel right here. So what is this on the chip? Ground beef and cheese. <laughs> Look at this our rotel, This is our culture, this is what we do. We eat, we eat rotel, take bitches to the You mean to tell host. me we the only motherfuckers that bro, ain't no way in hell? I don't believe that. Niggas don't know what rotel is? Boy. Yeah, that's what, that's the runners, that's the runners main fucking go-to course. Main go-to meal, tell the bitch, All right, you can, can you cook? Yeah, I'll make you some Rotel or some shit. Some spaghetti or something. One of them too, but they main go-to is Rotel. Brenna can cook some Rotel like a motherfucker, boy. If she can cook some Rotel, she can see a fox me, nigga. But that's also might be a pack. She also might be carrying the pack, ladies and gentlemen. I'm telling you, bro, I know you <laughs> <laughs> This the best exotic store in the Midwest. F St. Louis, F Missouri, the Midwest. I'm standing on it. This the five dollar snack table right here. This for the scrambles. You ain't got your bag all the way right. They got the scrambles. Yeah, they the got shit. some shit in there. Crazy. Seen they before. selling in here. How do we get these in the St. Louis grocery stores? Cause I feel like that's the next move for you. That's what everybody been telling me, but they so expensive. It's like, I feel like it'll, be, it'll cost a, an epidemic of people stealing these. How much do these cost? $25. This costs $25? Yes, for regular lemonade. That is crazy. Because it's regular lemonade, but at the same time, ain't nothing regular about it. It's mine. You will never get this taste anywhere else. It's definitely delicious. But if I were to tell my wife, honey, I just spent $25 on lemonade, I feel like I would be in trouble. You would, until she see it. I'm gonna give you something for wifey too, just okay. so she can understand. Stand too. Okay. I'll shout out to Sweet Cheeks, okay? Yeah, shout out Sweet Cheeks. Yeah, like, <laughs> What's a lesson you've learned being an entrepreneur? Your debut day ain't gonna be like that every day. There's ups and downs, it's right? Yeah, and a lot of times you might have more downs than ups, but you gotta fight through it. We gotta go get this food, man. All right, we'll see you guys at the next stop. Yeah, I'm gonna get you a combination plate with the same Paul. Oh my granny. Oh, yeah. Out of all these, nigga, what to like? this is? Pile, you gotta go. No, 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 no. Is this no, no. Oh, my Yeah, oh, man. Man. Now you are officially a St. Louis nigga. I know, wait, wait, he gotta get that thing. Don't be fooled. Nigga, what Chinaman was that? I only, I only eat like three Chinamans down here. The rest of that shit ass, cuz. Mm-mm. Shit. This is where it go down there. This side of town. Does it surprise you that St. Louis is the most dangerous city in America? Are we really good? <laughs> the next day, Heavy G sent me a text saying someone was shot and killed at a nearby BP. Very sad. An immigrant that was working hard at a gas station just got their life taken by a kid. So the danger here is absolutely real. Back to the video. 
Louis being playing, five years old Louis knowing that St. Louis is the number one Louis. for the murder rate. And I remember Detroit used to be like one or two. Like we always been competition. Back I just remember that. If you were mayor, what would you do to help the city be a little bit stronger, better, safer? The, the youth is who killing everybody. Yeah. The youth is who dying. The youth is who getting shot. And they are future. More fun, more concerts, more things for people to be interactive and not on their phone or not just them posting them somewhere. Like, just sitting outside. There's, 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 a, there's a lot of people that live so much of their life. Nigga, it be parties every week, though. Every weekend, it be parties. Don't not go out. Like, every, every time. I go out all the time. Go out live, doing the. I mean, but that's just me. I ain't gotta really worry about shit. I mean, yeah, I ain't gotta really, really worry about shit for real, for real. Not for real, you know. Go out there, press my little hoes. Go, go, go to the curb. Some niggas go there looking strictly for the for they ops. Mean mugging all type of shit. Like, bro, go get you some bitches or something, bro. Ain't nothing gonna happen to you and her. But when you get outside, nigga, you better boy. Life is on the Second Amendment is the American right to bear arms. How do you feel about that? Well, you know, in Missouri, we got it real good and easy. As long as you over 18, you can have any gun you want. Yeah. That's, that's why it's a lot of violence going on. Like, that's why, like, not that's why, it's but the wild, it's, it's going to be going West. on regardless. Any last one of us can go in the gun store and grab a gun. KBG and on top of this, you can have your mama go get you a gun. And you can just have a gun at 18, 19. It's, it's good like as far as all these niggas on there. So you, everybody can legally have a gun. And so the playing field is equal at least. Yeah, damn yeah, right. Damn, 27. Y'all do it. <laughs> I used to post up my whole childhood. I'm going to have to get this intersection tattooed on me. I used to sit on that motherfucker <laughs> every day. We'll be 20, 40 deep out here. All the niggas done died down here. A lot of niggas in trap down here. Five percent of St. Louis has left the city in the last two years. A lot of people fleeing the city, getting out. They say it's too scary, too dangerous Damn to raise right. a kid. What do you think about that? It is. I ain't gonna lie. The only person that could they could get this city where it's supposed to be is me. I ain't gonna lie. The ops probably didn't roll faster since we've been out here. If they know I'm out here and see the type of shit I'm doing, they'll call it off like it wouldn't be nothing. But. There's helicopters here that chase cars. Yes. Yeah. Really? Yesterday. You probably gonna see one. The you birds. This vehicle looks to be cutting through the they back the alley right out. now, going so fast it ra it outran the chopper. There's people really being a car running away from the helicopter. Yeah. Yeah, Good news, I didn't get hit. Good news for you. You have a chance to win this autograph, bulletproof vest. Purchase a t-shirt on the site. I got all these new cool shirts. They look like this. Tommy, you're supposed to go to St. Louis with a strap. You purchase the shirt, you have a chance to win this. Let the odds be in your favor. And now back to the video. Hey, stop doing them, dog. You know I got people. Like Motherfucker was chasing me one time, shooting at me. I seen the police in the midst of getting shot at, arm out the window, flagging them down. <laughs> police have to ride deep around here, right? There's no way they come here with one car. Why y'all keep doing this? It's the young guys that get the wrong attention. How old is the average kid when they get their first trap around here? Entering your teens, 13, 14. I ain't gonna lie. If somebody wanna do some gangster shit, they gonna do it from the main street. I usually wear my Crocs to a video shoot. Didn't I say that? Like 13, 14, bro. Little niggas, little kids. I got a pretty quick 40 yards out. Oh, when I get three calls, you can fight. All right, folks, this was an adventure through St. Louis. Heavy G, any words you got for the people to keep motivated, hustling, excited? Man, be yourself. You won't need no help. Stay true to you. All right, folks. We'll see you next week. Peace. All right, folks. We got a badass merch drop for you and the chance to win a bulletproof vest. Who's doing that? We have these are two new designs. Well, that's the end of that video, you know? I mean, ain't shit I ain't never seen before. But, uh, hope y'all boys enjoyed this little reaction video. And shit, I'm gone.